I'm probably one of the strongest proponents of setting up an affiliate program for almost any kind of business where you have enough margin in your products to be able to split the revenue with someone else willing to do some marketing on your behalf. You see, affiliate programs are a win-win scenario where you have a solid product, you know, for example, an online course that is worth 200 bucks, and you also happen to have someone willing to promote your rock solid course in exchange for a commission for every paying customer that they bring into your business. Now, I'm not gonna delve deep into the intricacies of affiliate programs and why you should consider them because I've already done this not too long ago. Instead, let's actually see some of the more advanced things we can do with an affiliate program on our WordPress website. Okay, so not too long ago, I showed you here on our channel how to set up affiliate WP on your WordPress website. If you haven't watched that video, please hit pause and go watch it as it shows off some of the most basic configurations that you should always keep in mind. And once you've watched that, please come back to this video as I'd like to show you some of the more advanced things that we can do with it by enabling some of their cool add-ons. Perfect, so I'm in the back end of my WordPress website and what I want us to do in this video is to just walk through three or four different add-ons that Affiliate WP has to offer. Hopefully you've already downloaded, grabbed a license for Affiliate WP, or if you simply wanna follow along this video to just uh, you know peek around what Affiliate WP has to offer, then that's absolutely fine as well. Now, I do believe that, the, that with um, two or three add-ons that, um, that I'm gonna show you in this video, you're going to be able to build an affiliate program that is going to definitely stand out above some of the more clunky looking affiliate programs that you may have seen out there, especially ones hosted on WordPress websites. All right, so the first add-on that I want us to look at is the affiliate portal add-on. This is probably the most valuable add-on that I've ever seen in an affiliate program plugin on WordPress because it's going to turn our affiliate program into almost a software as a service looking platform. I mean, it's pretty freaking robust. So anyways, if you've watched my previous videos, uh, you probably already know that this is what our um, affiliate program is going to look like out of the box when you download Affiliate WP, okay? This is what, well, Affiliate WP uh, automatically generates an affiliate area page and that is exactly the way it looks, right? It, it, it is, it's, it's essentially a WordPress page that has links to uh, different tabs where affiliates can grab useful resources, whether that is their affiliate URLs, creatives, they can look at statistics, they can look at graphs, and it's fine. I mean, this is okay. I mean, it's pretty useful, right? But take a look at what happens when we activate the affiliate portal add-on. If I go back to my affiliate area page and I hit refresh, now that I've enabled my affiliate portal, check out what happens. Boom. This is a much more um, software as a service looking dashboard that affiliates are going to be able to engage with. Now this is automatically inheriting my website name here, but I'm gonna show you in a second how you can even put your own logo here in the left toolbar. And this is just a much better user interface for affiliates to engage with. It's a much more user experience overall. They get a full on dashboard here that they can engage with. They can look at the number of referrals that they've had in the last 30, day, 30 days, uh, visits, conversion rates, and so forth and so on. So let me show you how to customize this even furthermore. Going back to our add-ons page here, we're gonna jump into our settings and inside settings here. Uh, let's jump into the tab that says affiliate portal. So first things first, uh, you can always disable your affiliate portal. And if you do disable the affiliate portal, when you go back into your affiliate area, if you just hit refresh, then that is simply going to uh, toggle back the uh, previous looking page that you've, up. I probably didn't hit save changes. Don't forget to hit uh, save. And, and if, if you do refresh then this, you can see how you can just toggle back and forth between uh, one um, design or the other one. I think the other one is much better, but um, it really is up to you. Okay, so let's enable the affiliate portal again. And let's just uh, upload a logo here just for the sake of taking a look at what the whole thing looks like. So for the sake of being consistent, let's just assume that uh, we're gonna keep using Franz logo and Let's just hit save and see what that looks like now. Okay, so my logo has a white background. You probably wanna be using a PNG so that you don't have your logo show up uh, with a white box behind it. But just out of curiosity, okay, let's just jump into creatives 
and let's just add a new creative for people to use. Let's just say that uh, we want to add in a new creative of type uh, logo. And this is uh, Franz logo. Let's just assume that we want to be able to let affiliates download our logo in case they want to put it up on their site or do something with it. Okay, so we're going to choose our logo as that uh, creative and Franz logo is here in JPEG format. Perfect. And let's enter a note. You're free to use this however you wish. Great. Let's add a creative and let's see what that looks like on our dashboard. Boom. People can view the creative. They can copy the code to it. Pretty nice. All right, let's take a look at the next add-on that I want us to look at, which is the affiliate QR codes add-on. Now this is basically going to allow our affiliates to use QR codes, which are obviously going to have their unique referral URLs and you know put the QR code up on their website, up on a blog post. They could technically speak and even download it on a piece of paper and you know they could hang it up on the street if they wanted to. And when people scan that code, they're going to be redirected to our sales page, again, with our affiliates unique URL attached to it. And it's just a really nifty way and a really comfortable way for, uh, you know, to allow our affiliates to be able to promote our products and services in a different style. So uh, once you've activated affiliate QR codes, make sure that you jump into settings. And here under QR codes, let's make sure that you check this box to enable affiliate QR codes. All right, and now if we jump into our affiliate dashboard and we refresh the page, enter affiliate URLs. Here, you'll be able to find your unique QR code, which is pretty nice. And of course, notice how I can just drag and drop this into my downloads folder in my computer. And I could technically speak and do anything that I want with this QR code, right? I mean, I could put it up on a on my sidebar, on my website, I could put it in, you know, embed it on a, on a blog post. At the end of the day, this is just an image that anyone with a smartphone can scan. And it would redirect to my uh, sales page with uh, my affiliate uh, URL uh, attached to it, which is pretty nice. All right, there's another cool add-on that I wanna walk you through, which is the tiered affiliate rates. And this is a really cool way of gamifying your affiliate program because it essentially allows you to reward your affiliates with even higher commissions once they've referred 10 people or 15 people or five people. So let's take a look at how that works. So once you've activated tiered affiliate rates, let's jump into settings and under the tiered rates tab, here you can see how we can customize a few different things. The first thing that we wanna do is uh, tell affiliate WP whether we wanna um, have people get rewarded when they've achieved a certain number of referrals or when they've met a total amount of referral earnings. In my case, let's just stick with number of referrals. And let's just say that when they've referred, uh, I don't know, 10 people, they're going to be rewarded with a 30% commission. And when they've referred 15 people, they're going to get rewarded with 35%. And when they've rewarded 30 people, they're going to take 50% home. And you could reset this on the first of every month so that, you know, they don't actually take 50% home, you know, for the rest of their lives. Um, but it really, you know, this is a really cool way of gamifying and incentivizing people to really, um, you know, share around their promo uh, creative assets and stuff like that and try to get more, more, um, uh, clicks on their links. There are just so many other different, really cool looking add-ons that I think are super interesting. The leaderboard one is one that I think could be really cool if you want to gamify your affiliate program even more, because that's essentially going to take your affiliate program and turn it into a full long contest where you can have affiliates competing against each other. And, uh, you know, being able to display a leaderboard is obviously going to incentivize people to get really competitive. There's a lot of really cool ones. I thought it was just, you know, a good idea for me to really show you how you can really build a, a really nice, powerful affiliate program with a really nice um, user experience for your affiliates without having to use a third party program outside of WordPress, outside of your website. And well, hopefully this just finishes giving you an even better picture overview of how powerful of an affiliate program you can run on your WordPress website. I've got some affiliate programs that I'm going to be moving from Thrivecart 
over into my WordPress website and have them be powered by Affiliate WP. This just makes more sense for me because for one, that way I don't have to be sending affiliates away from my site over into a third party program that they haven't really heard of. And on top of that, I can also give them more assets that they can work with. They can access creative assets that they can use in promo campaigns. And they can also, you know, literally just put up their, their QR codes up on their websites or blog posts, which can come really in handy. Plus, I mean, let's face it, the user interface and user experience as you've already witnessed is just out of this world. So hopefully this just makes them feel a little bit more cozy while working with me. Now, remember that this works beautifully well, especially when you're selling Thrive Apprentice products alongside Stripe. I'm again linking my previous video here in case you haven't seen it as it covers more of the most basic, you know, some of that basic groundwork that you really wanna make sure you nail down as you're setting up your affiliate program. All right, any questions that you may have, just be sure to drop them down in the comment section below. And yeah, I appreciate your time. I'll see you soon.